So to figure out the formal charge on each atom in SF6, we'll first look at the correct Lewis structure. So, so here's our Lewis structure. In each of the fluorine atoms, they have an octet. But you'll notice that sulfur in the center, it has six bonds. So it has 12 valence electrons around it. That's OK, though. Sulfur is in period 3. And the elements in period 3 and below can have expanded octets. So sulfur is OK, but we want to check the formal charges for this molecule to make sure we've drawn it correctly, that we have the best or most favorable structure. Let's start by calculating the formal charges on the fluorine here. So for fluorine, we have seven valence electrons. It's in group 17 or 7a. Unbonded valence electrons. It has two, four, and six. And then we're going to take one half of the bonded valence electrons. These are the ones in the chemical bond. And this line represents a pair of electrons. So we have two. Seven minus six, that's one. One minus the one here. That equals zero. So the formal charge on the fluorine is zero. We'll write it like that. And you could go around and write it on all of the fluorines if you wanted. They're all the same. For the sulfur in the center, the one with the expanded octet, let's see what happens with that formal charge. So we'll take our sulfur. And sulfur is in group 16, or 6a. So it'll have six valence electrons. Unbonded valence electrons. All of the electrons around the sulfur are involved in chemical bonds with the fluorine atom. So it's a zero. Then we're going to take half of the bonded. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 total bonded valence electrons. And that should equal 6 minus 6 is 0. So the formal charge on the sulfur in the center there, that's 0. So the formal charge for each element in this atom is 0. And when we calculate formal charges, that's a good thing. That means this is the best or most likely, more favorable Lewis structure. That's the formal charges for SF6. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.